Hi everyone, I'm Megan Benanti and I've got your reading for today. This is for our Judgment High Priestess people. So if your birthday adds up to 20, which reduces to two, then you are what we call a Judgment High Priestess. And I've got a reading specifically designed for you for January of 2021. So first off, um, we've got Hermit in Reverse and um, I'm working with the Enchanted Dreams Tarot and I'll put, that, I'll put a picture at the end so you can see the cards as well. Um, I always, you know, want to be able to promote anybody's deck that I work with because they're all beautiful. Um, so right now, as you move forward into January, I feel like it's going to be a hard time kind of figuring out what direction you need to focus on. And that's going to be okay. Trust yourself that this is your time to sort of figure this out and maybe just be still. Um, I know, you know, some of you are going to feel like, you're you're overburdened with other people's junk and it's like okay do you need to carry this burden or are you picking this up so don't be afraid to set a boundary for yourself in here if that's the case um uh, especially when it's with someone you really care about um and you know there might be a little bit of a challenge in communication in your relationship right now and are you shutting them out um, and maybe you're single, so you really are alone, but are you, are you making yourself available to meet someone new? And it's okay if you're not. Um, it's okay to be inside. It's COVID. It's okay to wear a mask. Please wear a mask. Um, just know that, you know, this is a choice and it's part of your soul's growth right now. And when you're ready to move forward, you will move forward. So take your time with that. Um, career, I feel like there's a much better focus for your for you this month, um, it's just, it's not that everything's perfect, but your attitude about it is like way better. So that's a really good thing. You needed to have this shift. And um, your sense of, uh, it's not, I don't know if it's a sense of purpose per se, um, it's just a much more positive attitude in maybe a not ideal situation. So, um, but you do seem to really be making the best of it. and. The company is also aware of that, so that's a that's a plus. Um, now let's see um, mm, what you can accomplish. Um, I'm looking at King of Pentacles in reverse, and this is a really interesting king because he's actually absent. So we just have the throne, and one of the things I love about this deck is the kings and knights are 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 they're not present. They're, they're available seats. And so, you know, you can see yourself in this role. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Part of this is how do you want to be a leader? Now, for some of you, um, you know, I think there's a sense of like either clearly wanting space from your partner and it's like maybe your partner is in um, being a little self-involved and, um, you know, maybe overspent during holidays and you're like, dude, just back off and get your act together. Like, I don't need this right now. <laughs> that could be part of it. Um, but also, you know, if you're hesitant about moving into a leadership role and maybe it's feeling like you're not the alpha in the relationship right now. And I want you to take a step back. We don't always have to be in charge. You know, sometimes it's really nice to let our partner take over. And you know, yes, it is sacrificing, well, I can't do it my way, um, but do we always have to have it our way? I mean, sometimes it's fun to be to be treated, to be someone else's guest. So, um, you know, don't try to force the relationship this month. Really just let things kind of happen organically. Um, you might feel like you're taking a little bit of a back seat in this case. Um, to your partner's needs, but sometimes that's what we have to do in a relationship. Um, work, feel, ooh, there's some big slowdown with work. Um, and it's temporary, but it feels intense. Um, and I'm not sure, I think you're beginning to question if this is the right place for you. Um, you're not gonna be able to get a lot done. Um, and maybe, you know, I said a slowdown. Um, it might be that it, 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 it's too much, like you can't get it all done. There's no way the person that, it, it, maybe you're the one feeling who's slow. Um, that's not necessarily gonna be a bad thing. I, I think you need to question whether this path is still what you want for you. Um, 
I do see there'll be there'll be some help that comes in. It's more towards the end of the month. Um, and it might not be the help that you're looking for or you're expecting, but I do feel like it's still help, however subtle that might be. Um, and so know that however you lead this month, lead by example, because I do feel like people are going to be kind of following you and watching you and see how you perform and how you handle things and tackle things and want to fit into that a little bit. Um, okay. Um, as far as challenges to work through, um, relationships, uh, it just feels like maybe disconnecting from friendships somewhat or creativity a little bit on a personal level, um, and maybe just not getting enough time to focus on what would be fulfilling for you. Um, but it's, it's creative energy. So man, just step to the side, doodle something, um, knit something when nobody's looking, you know, we can really squeeze that time in. It's just a lot of times the easiest thing is to click on Netflix and veg out or click on YouTube like you're here now. So, um, you know, but it, it's a choice. So if you feel like you're sacrificing something, um, then then push yourself through this because I feel like you've got creative energy to burn and so don't waste it and I think there's a little bit of acknowledgement that you're wasting it so if you are going to waste it own that wasting it and make the best of it you know have some popcorn with that wasting it so okay um work is feeling like it's sacrifice. You, you know, I have to say in your career, you've got a lot of major arcanas here today. Um, so January is going to be a big shift for you in your work life. Um, and, you know, as a judgment high priestess, one of your gifts is your ability to evaluate things. That's your superpower. So, um, I mean, yeah, and yes, sometimes you can overthink it. <laughs> um, but I'm looking at what you're giving up and it feels like it's a lot of time. And I want you to also, you know, this might be looking at vacation time too and going, when is this going to happen for me? Because like there's not enough people in the company to run anymore. Like I have to work all the time. So I feel like you're trying to get a new perspective and angle on this, but you're really struggling with it. Um, and there is something about your job that I feel is continually uh, being uncomfortable and I just, I don't want that for you. I want you to feel comfortable and like you're in a really good environment. So um, now your emotional state is pretty intense though. And actually with the deck that I chose for you all today, which I, I chose um, just because I was drawn to it, a lot of lunar energy in here and that's emotions all over the place. So don't be afraid to just say, okay, maybe I'm being a little overreacting to this or a little over emotional and maybe I'll feel a little better come February because I think you will. Um, I just, I constantly am looking at a lot of sort of challenge on the periphery, like, like a, an itch that you can't scratch and it's like something's not right, but I don't even have time to figure out what it is. I'm just not feeling fully satisfied. So maybe part of the goal is to take the time to sit down and figure out what the it is. Um, so that you can live a more fulfilling life. All right, now surprises for you. Ooh, good times with friends. We love this. Okay, so that's gonna be good. Good social time. Um, whether you enjoy gossip or drinking or just hanging out. Um, it's funny, this Three of Cups, there's no people here. <laughs> so I don't know if you're on Zoom or you're doing it with someone across the world. Um, but I still feel like you're socially connecting. And so enjoy yourself in that energy. Um, you do need this and your judgment side is very social despite your high priestess needing her alone time. So, um, you know, stay connected um, and that's gonna be a lot of fun for you. Um, and the other thing, so you, you kind of are zapped this month and it's interesting because I've got the chariot and perspective which would generally be our hanged man card and strength all in reverse all in your career um, and I you know we saw right off the bat we had five of cups in reverse your attitude is great but holy cow it is literally climbing up a hill all month of January and so um, you're really going to be tested with this and this is 
asking you to endure, to push through, and to ask for divine guidance. Don't feel like you have to just do this on your own. Um, and, you know, and really look at it. I mean, maybe we are looking at a bit of a health issue. Certainly physical body comes up with strength and it's definitely being pushed to the limits here. Um, so, you know, if you're getting really run down, which I could see with Chariot and this perspective card, um, take a break. Don't feel like, I mean, you know, if you've got to call in sick because you're sick, call in sick. Don't go into the office um, and don't plug into the computer. Take the time to re to uh, reboot your program and decompress. Um, high priestesses need that. That's uh, authentic to who you are. So, um, also sexual energy might be a little low. Not great, nobody loves low sex drive, but hey, there it is. Okay, um, and you know, it could be too, you know, if your partner's traveling, sometimes that just puts our sex drive on hold. Um, all right, now, one of the awesome things is um, you've got so much goodness to offer your relationship this month. Um, whether that is a partnership that you're in or someone that you just love dearly, it is about fun and joy and you are the one bringing this to the table. So don't be afraid to explore and do something fun, push the limits, get out a little bit. Um, it, you are really just radiating the warmth and the joy in your relationship. Um, and that don't feel bad if it's not necessarily with a significant other. It can certainly be mom, dad, or kids, or friendship, whatever. So this looks really, really good. Um, you are needing a little bit of self-care, but I feel like you're not willing to take the time to do that. And that's not, based on everything that's going on in your career, it just feels impossible. Um, you know, I, I do feel like we're actually looking at maybe some physical pain for you this month, so I'm not sure what that's about. Um, whether it's a pulled muscle in your back, um, or an ankle, um, it, it, but it, I do feel a shooting sense of pain um, this can also be tapping into migraines and for you a little bit of worry. Um, you're, you're overthinking things and, you know, kind of beating yourself up about it. So I would like you to just acknowledge what your body needs this month. Don't, don't push it. Don't feel like it has to be, um, that you have to do everything, that you have to have a massage and a bath and, you know, Epsom, with Epsom salts and, a healing session. No, this is just easing through it. Um, but I would definitely take the time to medicate what needs to be healed. So whether, and that might be getting a doctor's appointment, going to a chiropractor, um, maybe just taking, you know, Advil or Tylenol to relieve inflammation. Um, when I say medicate, I don't mean like going and getting high and hanging out on a mountaintop. So, um, although that might work for somebody. Um, okay. Now the other thing is, um, your pay it forward energy is really about, uh, letting go. And, um, I do think it's going to be for you. It's really going to be about emptying out the closet. Any extra junk you have in your house, you don't need, you are giving it away this month. That is the best way for you to pay it forward. So it's decluttering, um, it's it's freedom from from clutter and material things that maybe you've held on to. Um, it's also it might be the gift of kindness in a relationship to let go of that old gnarly belief system that I had mentioned earlier. That maybe you're clearing that out. Um, okay, so. Um, know that I, I definitely feel that you can work towards your pay it forward in a really positive way and know that it's going to be super fulfilling on a soul level for you because I think that's really significant. Um, okay, so that is January of 2021 for our Judgment High Priestesses. Uh, please feel free to leave me any comments or constructive criticisms below. Um, and I'm certainly still... I'm, new to filming on my iPad, so I'm having some technology difficulties, but hopefully uh, if you have any thoughts you want to share with me on that, I'm open to listening. 
Uh, all right. So thanks so much for listening in and I'll see you again next month. Bye-bye.